This review is about the Breville 800 JEXL Juice Fountain Elite. It's a 1000 watt juicer with two speed controls. The high is at 13,000 RPM and the low is at 6,500 RPM. This machine has a die cast steel housing, a stainless steel micro mesh filter, and a titanium plate and cutting disc, which in result gives you 30 to 40% more vitamins and minerals that are extracted. The circular 3 inch feed tube accommodates whole fruits and vegetables. I prefer to cut mine up, and you will see that in the videos coming here shortly. But the voltage is 110 to 120 volts and over 400,000 filtering pores. Here are all the different pieces that we will be putting together in the next short video. These are dishwasher safe pieces too. I wanted to share with you how easy it is to put this together. A pro tip here is to put some sort of produce bag or plastic bag down into the pulp container. This will make it easier for cleanup. And now you're ready to juice. First off, you want to make sure you soak and clean all of your fruit really well. I use apple cider vinegar and I let the fruit Sit in this for about five minutes because it's a good cleaning agent. While that is soaking, you can cut off the outer portions of all the oranges. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's all just gonna be thrown in that juicer. earlier you can put the whole apple in there I prefer to not have the core in there so I'm just cutting the apple up in chunks but again it's whatever you would prefer one of my big juicing secrets is that grapes make everything taste better so you want to prep these by taking them off of the vine I'm also throwing in two celery sticks and kale. I will be adding some of that to this juice. Now the kale and the celery are very potent in the earthy tones, so just be aware of that. It will change your flavor content of your juice, depending on how much you add. With the kale, make sure you clean it extremely well. So really get in there and open up those kale leaves and clean in all the little nooks and crannies. Now to the exciting part, we get to juice. So come along with me as I show you how to use this juicer. I'm gonna put you right back here in the corner so you get a good view. Here's my bowl of fruit that I have prepared. I have silenced the video so you can't hear me turning it on, but at this moment I'm turning on the juicer on the low setting. I prefer the low. If you go low, you actually extract more juice out of it. So first I put in the orange, and the orange kind of just sits there at the bottom until you push it down. So at this point, I throw in as many grapes as I can so that the grapes don't pop out as I'm trying to put everything in. So the orange at the bottom kind of keeps everything above, so you can just pile it in as much as you can, and then you're gonna use your pusher to push it down. It's just a little tip that works for me. Here we go. Ooh, keep your eye on the jug so you can see the juice come out.
Here's another view. Again, I'm gonna start with that orange because it kind of just sits there. And now I'm gonna pile on other small ingredients. There was an apple. I'm gonna make sure to grab as many of these grapes as I can so they don't fly out. Sometimes if you just put the grapes straight down, you don't even have enough time to put down the pusher. The grapes will just fly right back at you. So this is great that everything can kind of just sit there. If I didn't have the orange at the bottom, this stuff would just be straight through to the, the chute into the jug. You'll find what works best for you. Now we're gonna push it down. Here we go. Fills up fast. And it does get very frothy and the juice kind of settles to the bottom. The froth is also good to drink. Look at that, empty. And that would have popped right back at me. Sometimes you just put your hand right over it and it'll keep it from going down. There goes the celery. And we're gonna push that down. Like it's very green from here. Oh, gotta remember the cow. Make sure you keep your hands out of the container. Disclosure, do not put fingers down there. <laughs> and the kale to finish. All gone. Now I'm just gonna shut it off with that red button. You let it wind down. Now you can take the juice, and I like to put it in the refrigerator while I clean the machine, and I'll come back to it. I like my juice to be a little bit cooler, so this is just the process that works for me. So now you get to see how easy it is to take it apart. This is when that plastic bag comes in handy. Very easy cleanup. All the mess is just right there in the bag. And that remains clean. This pops off. Oopsies. Like I said earlier, some of these pieces are dishwasher safe. However, for the purpose of this video, I want to show you all of the pieces and how easy it would be to clean if you did it by hand. This seems to be the only part that I dread the most, and it's really not even that bad. <laughs> There's not very many parts to actually clean. It's just cleanup is never fun, right? A lot of the pieces are easy to just rinse. I like to get in there with my soap wand. This is that mesh, and it comes with a special brush that helps you scrub away all of the small particles that are left.
Now time for the big reveal. The juice has been chilling as we cleaned up. It is best if you drink it right away, but if you want to keep it, only keep it for 24 hours or less, and you want to put it in a jar that has a lid. You want to fill it all the way up to the tippity tip top of the jar so that there's no air. If you have air in your jar, you will lose nutrients from this juice, and you want to try to keep in as much as you can. And that's why we fill it all the way up to the top and put a seal tight lid on it. I'm keeping these two jars for dinner tonight for myself and my husband. We like to drink some with our dinner. And then this jar I'm going to drink right now. <laughs> And I also like getting the froth in there. After your juice sets for a while, it will separate from the juice to the froth. Before you drink it, just give it a little bit of a shake because you want to drink all of that. Look at how beautiful it is. Now I personally love this juice machine and I highly recommend it. I did link it below to Amazon. It's an easy machine to put together, it's easy to clean, and I love that it maximizes the nutrients that you get extracted from your fruits and vegetables. Now please subscribe and hit that like button.